the concept and design phase of any 3D project is crucial and can be a lot of fun. While a lot of artists prefer to do that phase with traditional 2D tools, uh, whether they be digital or pencil and paper, um, I prefer to do it with a 3D tool, uh, Grobato. And it's possible with Grobato because Grobato's modeling consists of true geometric primitives. Uh, the mesh only comes along later. You can make a mesh at any point during the process. It's uh, fully automated. This is, uh, just seems very natural to, to me that uh, if you're designing a three-dimensional thing, to use a three-dimensional tool for that uh, design phase of the project uh, just seems uh, like the way to go. Again, it's only possible when you have a tool that uh, does not restrict or enforce uh, morphology. That's what happens when you start building a mesh. Once you commit to a certain morphology in a mesh, um, you pretty much have to stick with it. I mesh, meshes are wonderfully flexible things. Uh, they have a great deal of flexibility that solid primitives like this don't. But in that particular aspect, the ability to kind of completely uh, reform and redesign something, it makes sense to hold off on generating the mesh until you've hit upon that design that really works for you. One of the crucial aspects of good design is simply recognizing it when it occurs, knowing it when you see it. And that isn't possible, or uh, the range of it, the, 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 the potential of it is limited if you don't have the freedom to simply explore. You won't, you won't ever uh, be able to know it when you see it if you never see it.